Hey folks, we've done this tutorial before, but since so many people ask about it and there are now polar orbiter images on the slider, figure let's do it again quickly now. The link below takes you automatically here. The GOES-16 images, full disk sector, and geocolor data product. For those who forget, you can zoom way, way into the mesoscale sectors. On those, there is no geocolor data, but that's okay. We can choose another data product, like this one of mid-level atmospheric water vapor over the Gulf states and up into the central states. For those looking for that lightning overlay you see in the morning news, only the GOES-16 has it, and it works on the CONUS and full disk sectors. So first go to that sector and then find the L2 products down near the bottom part of that list. This is how you get those lightning shots. Now, to use the other satellites, you go up to Satellite, literally the only thing that would make sense. If you choose Himawari, you get the West Pacific, where a typhoon is currently visible in the Philippine Sea there. This is the one we began tracking two days ago, by the way, and said was going to hit South Japan. Let's see what happens. Now, the same place you get to the GOES and Himawari satellites is where you get to the Joint Polar Satellite data, and it does default to the Northern Hemisphere. And while most of their products are still waiting to come online, they have some that the other satellites don't have, and... They are pretty cool for looking at clouds and even city lights from way above the tops of the world. Now true enough, these are not in geosynchronous orbit and therefore can only take a shot about every hour as their orbit ticks around the world while still maintaining themselves over the poles. Just want to quickly show you that the same way you switch sectors on other satellites is where you switch between the north and south poles. Again, the link to the slider is below. And by the way, would like to challenge the observers here in the comment section to see who can best enunciate why the I-Band 5 long-wave product on the polar orbiters could be a huge deal for solar climate forcing whenever it comes online. No matter when you are hearing this, I'll see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.